ਅਸਲਾਮ ਅਲੈਕਮ ਨਮਸਤੇ ਸਤਿ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਐਂਡ ਗੁੱਡ ਡੇ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਲਿਸਨਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਆਵਾਜ਼ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਰੇਡੀਓ your host for today is Saira and in the studio today we have Don from Cheatham Hill Advice Centre now if you'd like to get in touch with us you can email us on awazradio@hotmail.com or log on to our website www.awazcommunityradio.com You can ring us on 0161-839-7857 or catch us on Facebook, Awaz Community Radio, and we're also on Twitter, Awaz Radio 122. Thank you for listening to Awaz Community Radio with your host Saira and our guest for today is Don from the Cheatham Hill Advice Centre. Hi Don, thank you very much for coming in. Hi Saira and thanks for inviting us. Well, we'd love to hear more about what you do and about this volunteering project of yours. Okay, yeah, the project is called the Manchester Volunteer Advice Partnership. It's a partnership of five different organisations. Um so the Cheatham Hill Advice Centre the Manchester Refugee Support Network, Manchester Mind, Young Person Support Foundation and the Greater Manchester Immigration Aid Unit. Okay, yeah, the partnership is about offering volunteering opportunities within advice work. Now that's really um flexible. The kind of things you can do, you can do admin work, you could be a reception worker, which is the person who's the first point of contact for people coming into the center. You could be um an interpreter or you could also train to be a full advice work advice worker and um, doing case work great don so can you tell us a little bit more about what volunteers will actually be doing when they come in okay it will vary a little bit depending on which center you'd like to work for um you may be interested in immigration so you may then work for the greater manchester immigration aid unit you could then they may have a drop in session and at that drop in people come in for advice and you could be the first person that sees them I've uh speak to them about what they want and then maybe they will be booked in for an appointment or maybe you will kind of signpost them to somewhere else maybe they need to go to the job center um for help. So there are but the roles are really flexible and it kind of also varies between the organizations as well as within the organization. What we want is for volunteers to gain experience in doing something they want to do but also it we want it to be something that will improve the service that we give to the community So what kind of training is involved, Don? 
Okay, we have some really good training coming up. It starts with a nine-week course. Um, one of those days is based um, in a venue in the city centre. And what we'll be doing, lots of really practical activities, some role plays, um, talk, basically going through what you need to know to do those roles in the advice centre. And then what you will do is also spend half a day in the centre, practising that, shadowing people and doing assignments. So that runs on. And then once you've completed that, you then just continue to volunteer, doing what hours um, suit your lifestyle. Um, you could do five days a week if you wanted, or three days a week, or just a couple of hours. Um, so that's, in essence, the training that we offer. That sounds really good, Don. It sounds like there's quite a variety of roles available for people. Yeah, that's right. And what will happen as well with the training, this is not you do the nine weeks and that's it. Along, whilst you're volunteering, we'll chat and you can say, OK, I need a bit more help play with my English or I need help with something else that we may not be able to provide. But what we'll be doing is looking for opportunities outside um, and signposting you for other training. So it's really, really want people to gain lots of skills by doing this. Okay, so what we're looking at, we're offering this to increase your skills, your knowledge and confidence. And also it's a great opportunity to meet other people. Um, and then, you know, this is something that will be on your CV. We will back up and say, you know, you've done this um, and you've done it well. And you will get a certificate from us as, uh, at the end of the training. And if you do any further training, we'll continue to acknowledge that. So how do people apply for that, Don? It all sounds, you know, like a great idea for people to get involved with. Okay, you can contact me on 740-8999. You could email on dawn at cheatamadvice.org.uk. You can contact any of the organisations that are involved that I mentioned um, on their websites, through their website. Or you can drop in to their centres and the information will be there. Application form will be there. Once you've completed an application form, then what I'd like to do is contact me. And then you can come and chat to me for about 20 minutes, half an hour. We'll go through it all and then we'll get you onto the training course. So Dawn, when does this amazing opportunity begin? Okay, I've now got a list of dates for the training. They start on the 26th of March, running two courses alongside each other. And then they're going to be ongoing up until October 2015. So lots of opportunity to get in there. That sounds so good. And we're looking forward as well to having you visit the Avaz Women's Group at some point soon to talk about this opportunity as we're actually located quite close to you aren't we yeah 
Yeah. And th just one more thing. So the information packs that we give out with the application form, that has lo lots of information, some of which I've already told you, but it really gives you a good idea of, of what's, what it's all about and what's happening. So once you get that, have a good read. And, and I can also help you fill the application form in if, if that's you know, something that would be helpful. That sounds so good, that project that you've talked about. So Dawn, can you tell us a little bit about Cheatham Hill Advice Centre? What kind of services it offers for people? Okay, Cheatham Hill Advice Centre is an independent advice organisation and we provide advice across the range of you know, welfare benefits, housing, consumer issues. All of those kind of, anything really, if you come into us, we'll either help you ourselves or signpost you to uh, somewhere else. The other organisation, so the Manchester Refugee Support Network, they are a group, um, it was started a group of refugees um, and it's they work and provide advice and assistance um, to refugees. Similarly, Greater Manchester Immigration Aid Unit so they specialise in advising and acting on behalf of immigrants. Um, the Young Person Support Foundation, they work with young people 16 to 25. Again, all sorts of things that they do, but providing advice um, is one of the main um, services that they offer to young people, especially people who have uh, are um, homeless or are potentially going to be homeless. Thank you so much for that, Don. So could you just give us your details one more time for our listeners? Okay, yes, yeah, so my name's Dawn, um, telephone number 7408999. You can contact me also through email by dawn at cheatamadvice.org.uk. You could drop into Cheatham Advice or you can drop into any of the organisations who are involved and look at their websites because the application form, the information pack is on the websites as well. Thank you so much to, jo to Don, even, from the Cheatham Hill Advice Centre. It's been really informative and I'm, I'm hoping that, you know, you get a great kind of turnout for this volunteering project and we will let you know about any listeners who are asking for more information. OK, yep. Thank you very much. Um, and yes, hopefully lots of people um, will be interested um, and look forward to hearing from you. Thanks very much, Don. So listeners, if you would like to get in touch with us about this or any other subject, you can log on to our website, www.awazcommunityradio.com. You can email us, awazradio at hotmail.com. We're on Twitter, awazradio122. Or catch us on Facebook, Awaz Community Radio. Oh, and don't forget our number, 0161 839 7857. Thank you very much for listening to Awaz Community Radio. Your host has been Syrah. Take care.